So um, I'm just going to show Ria, she's a pre-PA student, so do you mind if I just kind of show her what's going on? No, okay. actually, could I get it on camera? Because I'm actually vlogging it, and I've uh -huh. been trying to explain it to okay, people. Okay, all right. Because, really cool. like, nobody knows the seriousness of it, but... Okay, so how are we going to do that? You're oh, gonna you want to... Yeah. Like, so, um, yeah, you can see this is where the thyroid gland is. It sits above the trachea. Mm -hmm. And even though I'm not a thyroid specialist, you can see that she's got a prominent gland typically if you look at like my area you can kind of see that versus here and you can even if you want to just wash your hands and just feel it you can feel kind of the firmness of the thyroid gland right there go ahead and look up for a second for me and the Thyroid gland is typically, it's, I mean, it's a fraction of this, and it's a butterfly-shaped type of gland, and you can, you can really appreciate it if you just, yeah, yeah and if you just feel it versus kind of in, in different areas, if you feel that, right, that's what it mm -hmm. should feel like, but you can kind of, if you feel that area, yeah. okay, just look straight ahead for me. And just look straight ahead, good. And then I'm gonna have you close your eyes for me. And then open one more time. Okay. And go ahead and close for me again. Open for me now, good. And same thing here on this side. For me, good. Ray, would you just turn the light off for me for a second? are about three to four millimeters and they're equally reactive no APD noted okay and then and we're going to need to dilate your eyes today obviously I need to look at them and do some further examination under the microscope okay. I'm going to have you come forward for me and just look straight ahead and, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. You'll feel this right here a little bit, so I will feel a little squishy. There is resistance to retropulsion. <laughs> there is uh, those other things called displacement. Essentially, dilate the pupils. Okay. Um, have you ever had a dilated exam? I've never had my eyes dilated. Okay, so what that means, it opens up your pupils. We put in some drops to open up your pupils. Okay. And then after that, I'm able to look at the back of the eyes. And specifically for you, I want to look at the nerve okay. to make sure it looks healthy and the rest of the back part of the eye. When we put the drops in, you're, in about 20 minutes, your vision's going to get a little blurry. Um, and that's mostly for near not for distance, but you might find a little bit more light sensitivity. It's not too overcast today. I tell patients, most people are able to drive. Sometimes some people very, very rarely over the years, just a handful of people aren't able to drive afterwards. So we just ask them to come back, sit in the lobby and wait till it kind of wears off and then we'll be able to have you drive. Oh, okay. Are you okay for us to do that today? Oh yes, I'm fine. Okay, the, the more information we can get today, the faster we can kind of do the necessary steps okay. to get you where we need to be okay? okay and then i'll kind of explain everything to you once you're dilated okay, okay? so we're going to put the dilating drops in both eyes okay. and then have you wait in the lot all right this is good. can you do this yes and then you can wipe the foot holes down okay so Oh, <laughs> okay. And then up, and then towards the wall. Good. Good. 
All right. Well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Look at your napkin. It's like neon oh yellow. Oh my gosh. Just try not to dab on the oh. eye because then it'll take it out. But. <laughs> what a day. you guys so i did just get back from the eye appointment uh basically i've had my eyes dilated um i'm very blind in this eye my vision right now is 20 100 so you know perfect vision is 20 20 my vision is 20 100 this eye nothing not a gone okay i'm about to be cooking dilated and hellofresh does make it easy that is their claim to, claim, claim to fame that they do have recipes that are very simple easy to follow little experience necessary and hopefully they work if you're blind and dilated so we're gonna see today we're gonna be cooking zucchini and tomato flatbread so today we're going to be cooking dilated on cooking with kj Bam, bam, bam. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Welcome to Cooking with KJ. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Cooking with KJ. Cooking with KJ. What? What? Bam, bam. Cooking with KJ. Do, 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 do. Cha, cha. Cooking with KJ. <laughs> Cooking with KJ. It's your host, KJ. Yeah. Stop all right, it. All right, all right, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Cooking with KJ. Uh, you may notice my Harry Potter spatula different than the one that Kelly Stamps uses. This is my Harry Potter spatula. I actually have the Harry Potter set. Um, and today we're gonna be cooking dilated. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. Glad to have you. No special guest today, but today is cooking challenge. Cooking blind and dilated. What? 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 <laughs> My windows are open. People are walking by. I gotta give them a show. Okay, so anyway, today guys, I'm going to be cooking this zucchini bread. Uh, flat bread. I'm trying to eat a little healthier girl. Hot girl summer's coming up. <laughs> and I want to make sure that I'm just getting it ready, getting it together because your girl is trying to hit some beaches, some springs, some islands, some palm coves, some creeks, some river bends across the oceans. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm really trying to take some trips this summer, so I'd love to get the content ready so the body got to be ready. You understand. So today we are going to be cooking with HelloFresh, and let's get started. So the first thing we see, I've already taken my ingredients out because I wanted them to default because I don't eat often, so I keep my fridge basically frozen so that things don't go bad. So that when I, when I do eat, 
Anyway, <laughs> I've got this, uh, it says herb. So understand guys, I can't really see and I can't read, I can't see up close. So I can't read the instructions really. That's why this is gonna be so difficult. Flatbread, obviously. I've got the ricotta, the zucchini, the honey. I just watched a B movie last night. That's kind of funny. Y'all remember when she like put a boy in the, the old lady in the headlock? Woman tea time snack garnishments. <laughs> the, I don't know if you have watched B movie. The smallest lemon the world has ever seen. I'm pretty sure this came from a little amputated tree. <laughs> and we've got some cherry tomatoes come in a little case. Let's get to it. Bam. Okay, so, uh, um, okay, we need a baking sheet or two in the oven while it preheats. The answer is nice and crispy. I don't have um, a baking sheet. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, I have a baking like tray, so we're gonna use that. Okay, so bust out baking sheet, uh, zest. I don't have a zester. Two small bowls, kosher salt, black pepper, vegetable oil, olive oil. So those are all the things that I need. So let's get those really quick. Um, then I'm gonna do the prep, and then I'll come back once I get cooking. So for the prep. I need to put a baking sheet on the top rack. Okay. All right. Thankfully, some of the stuff is bolded. So, like, that's what I'm looking for. So, like, lightly oil. Okay. So, then, okay, I see this is baking sheet. I'm trying to keep it as far away as possible because up here, it's not doing me any justice. Okay. Um, okay. Oven to 450. All right, okay, trim, Zuc trim in half. Okay, so the zucchini, here's the zucchini. All right, uh, put into thinly sliced crosswise into half moons. Half tomatoes, peel and mince or grate garlic. I think I'm reading this one, but boy, my eyes is hurting. <laughs> my eyeballs, look how swollen they are. If I turn to the side of this, I hit my side profile, but like, y'all see my eyeballs. Okay, all right. <laughs> and then zest and quarter lemon. So that's what I'm gonna do really quickly. That wasn't too bad. That was the bulk of the instructions. So hopefully everything else from here on out is pretty easy. All right, let's get into it. So for the, I wasn't even supposed to touch this flatbread yet. But when the time comes for the flatbread, do I put the toppings on the side with the ridges? Because this makes sense in my mind because the ridges will help hold the toppings. You know, it'll help like provide depth layer. Cause like if if I put it this way, then then it, then I have to hold the layers in my hand. That doesn't seem like it makes sense. It seems like I should hold a flat surface and have the textured bread hold the, you know. Anyway, so a baking sheet. This is my baking sheet. I don't have a flat one. Like I had a pan that I was gonna use, but that was just raunchy. So I'm just gonna use this one and I'm gonna put some oil. Okay, so yeah, so that's what I want to get my eye appointment done with basically today. And which I know about this with that oil, that excess oil, you just take that little napkin, take that little napkin and rub the excess. Y'all don't know about that. Girl be cooking for real. So the fact that I'm doing it blind, and like you guys, I can like see my head and see my shirt, but I literally cannot physically see myself. It, if I had on an eye patch right now, and if I was cooking with only this eye, woo child, I fail, I fail. Cause I can't, mm -mm. I have to get this done before 4.50 and I can't. Okay, 
So oil my pot, oil my sheet. Okay, so I have to put this in there. Is that not a fire hazard? Like, why does that sound wrong to me? Wash and dry all produce. Is my oven gonna catch on fire? I just got the oil pan in there cooking. I know you may be wondering, like, what happened? Hear me out. Because this eye is not working and I just had them dilated, the lights are super bright in here. This eye is having to overcompensate for this eye. It's giving me a slight headache. And then on top of that, trying to read these little instructions with this eye not doing nothing to help me. And this eye like, what's going on? I just got rid of this eye temporarily. <laughs> My channel is a mess. <laughs> okay, so now we need to... <laughs> Now we need to get to these preparations, y'all. Comment and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. This video going off. This is one of my favorite videos for sure. Okay, I guess the best way would be to cut it long ways. I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this the way I would in culinary class. I honestly don't remember. I don't want to cut it this way. Okay. Technically guys, my knife is super flimsy. So it should have just chopped through that, but I have to tilt a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh. I don't know what zucchini tastes like, actually. I've never had zucchini before. Once I put my eye patch on, it was easier for me to go back and do the zucchini so that I could cut them slicer, cut them thinner into thinner slices. Because at first I thought I was cutting them thin, but baby, look how thick this one is. Excuse my nails, but look how thick this one is compared to like, you see? So I've got these two bowls here. So while I'm cooking my zucchini, I can go ahead and put these on there.
All right, you guys, so as you have seen the final product, I've already tested it a little bit. I was starving. Um, it's pretty good. It's a lot different than what I would expect. Um, I never thought honey ricotta cheese and some zucchini, tomato, and cilantro parsley would be good, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm definitely about to dip into this ricotta cheese some more. But like the honey. Mm. Okay, so the zucchini is basically like mushrooms. That's that's the only purpose that they serve. They don't they don't really do much. Everything else, wow. Zucchinis are here for texture. Mm. All right, you guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was as much informative as it was entertaining. Overall, it is what I strive to do on my channel in general. But more importantly, that was the first Cooking with KJ challenge cooking straight from having my eyes dilated my eyes feel a lot better now i'm starting to be able to see myself on camera a little bit more be able to see my toy story my joker cups i'm feeling a lot better um i thought it was late i was kind of worried that i had messed up on time but it's actually a thunderstorm coming which is my favorite weather it's finally dark in here so ruby and i are about to cuddle up on the couch put on the projector in my living room on my living room wall and basically just watch a movie um journal and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video this has been kj over on kj's world i hope to see you guys next time like comment and subscribe bye